so my ban appeal hasn't been accepted yet, probably because it was too long but it asked me to provide as much details as possible and I don't think 850 words is a lot. I know there are some people out there who type a few thousand words for their appeal. While I was waiting, Mindplex announced its Pocket Edition server. Mindplex PC bans doesn't affect Pocket Edition, so that's why today I'll be playing micro battles there. Bring me to a stupid micro battles lobby you noob or else I will punch you to death. So now we are in the micro battles lobby, the lobby just looks like the one in PCs. Look at those dudes, they look hilarious. So now we are in the game, there isn't a countdown for some reason. I mean there is a countdown on the screen but that doesn't really matter and I can start breaking blocks. I don't know is it a glitch or is it normal. But anyways, if you don't know what micro battles is, micro battles is a game where you are in a floating island sort of thing and people are split into four teams you can break and place blocks there and you have to kill the other team and the last team which survives win this seems like a fairly simple game but there can be a lot of tactics for example you can use the worker kit and camp underground although it seems like a fairly cheap tactic but it works or you can just get many blocks and build a sky base but that way I don't know will you get killed by border because I've never tried that before. And what I did this time is just stack up on the building which I think is meant to be a cactus and put the blocks down as barrier so we use the bow and arrow to shoot each other. Basically this is how most people play micro battles and I think this takes ages because it is not as effective. Also in Pocket Edition it is harder to control, which makes people even harder to shoot the arrow accurately. Right now we're just shooting each other, I dodge, he dodge, I miss, he shoot, he hit, I shoot, he dodge. Using this tactic is kind of boring that's why in PC I usually use the worker kit. But because in PC I can spam my left click so when I use the worker kit and camp underground I can easily out combo them and wreck them because usually they suck and I can use stone blocks to block them so I always have the advantage. But in pocket edition as it is harder to control so I don't think that way works so this means in pocket edition there is no way they can be as effective as PC. But I think that shouldn't be a problem, if you are in a hurry you shouldn't even play Minecraft. Now Mindplex is added in Pocket Edition so you can play Mindplex while you're on the toilet. But that doesn't work that well for me because the internet connection in my home's toilet isn't really good, so I usually play it in the living room. It looks like there are only four people left in the game, I think I'm going to join and clean up. Oops, my Minecraft crashed. Sorry I couldn't record a full game of micro battles because of the amount of times I crashed and how much time it needs to connect to the server, this is my best attempt because I have two kills. Mindplex Pocket Edition seems pretty cool but there are a few glitches which I think is normal because Pocket Edition was just announced a few days ago. You can check the IP in the description below or go to mindplex.com. 